Well, hello everybody and welcome to a beautiful autumnal day here in Argentina. It's about 15 degrees, sunny and there's no wind. It truly is a magical day. <laughs> it is, it's gorgeous. And the reason I'm so excited that it's a perfect day is uh, we are going hiking and camping today. Now you may notice I've not got my usual camera bag. I've actually got a rental, a rucksack that I've rented and a bunch of camping gear. And we have about a 10 kilometer hike ahead of us to Laguna Torre, which should be not only a beautiful campsite, but an amazing spot for a bit of landscape photography. There's the crew, very excited and feeling good. Although, oh, this bag's heavy. Very heavy bag, but we shan't whinge and moan. I mean, how can you when you're doing something like this on a day like today in somewhere as special? as this here in Argentina. We are about three kilometers into the hike. Beautiful, so hot though. But that's okay, because I bought a lovely, fresh, ice cold bottle of mineral water. Beautiful, perfect for the hike. And then I had the opportunity to try a product, a new product that I've never heard of before. Now, I have to say this video isn't sponsored by or endorsed by this product and you may know it, you may, know, may not know it, but it's, uh, it's something called Tang. You see that? Very dark here, I do apologise. That is not a natural colour and nor would I recommend anybody ever drink a product called Tang. It comes in powder form and I just willingly put it in my nice mineral water thinking, yeah, a bit of flavour, a bit of vitamins, a bit of minerals. No. Acid. Death. It's the worst thing I've ever drank in my life. Don't worry, I do have more water in my bag. But this is all I have to hand. And every time I take a sip, it's like drinking from the devil's lavatory. It's horrendous. So there you go. This video is not sponsored by Tang, nor will future videos be sponsored by Tang. Don't do it, kids. Don't do it. How does it compare to Special Brew? Uh, it's on par with Special Brew. <laughs> yeah, it's probably worse. <laughs> I think I'd rather have an ice cold Special Brew right now than, <laughs> than a lukewarm tank. It'd probably be healthier for you, too. <laughs> As I'm walking along dreaming of an ice cold Special Brew, I totally forgot to mention that this video is sponsored by Squarespace. So if you need a website, go to squarespace.com forward slash Heaton. Joking aside, this hike is absolutely phenomenal. The views towards Cerro Torre, thank you very much, are phenomenal. It's this giant needle-like peak that dominates the skyline. Oh, it's just over my shoulder there, I'm not sure if you can see it. But it's phenomenal, it's imposing, it's foreboding, and I cannot wait to get to camp, break out the camera, and start some photography and see what we see. I only have the one lens with me to save weight, 24 to 70. I opted for that over the 16 to 35 or the 70 to 200 based on what I expect the landscape to be like when we get to this lake or this laguna. Yeah, super happy, very excited to get there. This is a good day as any To start the rebuilding of life The roads that lay open are many when the old one's gone under the knife And I can feel the sun on my skin So I'm happy to report that after about 9Ks we have made it to the campsite or the campground and it's about a further I don't know, half a K or a K to the the lake which we'll be hopefully photographing either this evening or tomorrow morning. Oh, that feels so good. Nothing like getting a, an uncomfortable heavy pack off your back after a long day's hiking. But yeah, this campsite is fantastic right by the river. It's shaded by these beautiful autumnal trees. Ah, definitely, uh, yeah, definitely a good spot. I think it's time to rest, set up our tents, maybe have a bit of food. Tomorrow, there's no time to borrow today. Well, something's got to give today. There's a good day today, and not tomorrow. There's no. So, that 
is it, that is camp all set up. We've all got tents going, we've got water boiling so we can drink it later on. Still quite early, so there's no rush for photography, but on our quest to go and get water, myself and Francis did spot a tasty looking tree backlit by the sun, autumn colours, mountainous backdrop. So I think we might go on a little uh, a little shoot, see if we can grab that shot, because it did look quite a pleasing composition. So there's a couple of us who've just gone to have a look at this tree and see if it's shootable. Um, and it is, it's a really nice lone tree, full of colour, dark mountains in the background, tricky composition because it's very tight. So you know, a, a few inches left, right, up, down, then you bring in the sky and you don't want the sky. The tree is sort of backside lit by the sun and at the moment it's very, very harsh. The light is super, super hard. Um, so we're afraid, you know, we're just going to wait. We've spent a bit of time perfecting our composition, dialing the focus, get everything just so, and then you don't do anything. It's just a nice, simple, quiet composition. There's nothing to it. It's just a case of waiting. So it's been nice just hanging around and waiting, but I think having watched the sun for the past 15 minutes, we can actually clearly see that it's not gonna go in the direction we want. It's gonna set straight down that valley just there, which means we'll be waiting here for hours <laughs> for this shot. And although it's a nice shot, we do have other things to do, other things to shoot. So I'm gonna get the photograph now. Um, it's, it's nice, the light is really nice. Um, I do kind of wish it was softer, a little bit softer. Oof. But I think it's going to work just fine. So I'm at f5.6, so I can soften the mountains, soften the background, get that separation. I focused on the tree. And I make sure that when I take the photograph, I shield the lens with my hand, which stops the sunlight hitting the front element of the lens so there's no lens flare. And that's it, it's just a simple 16 by 9 composition, single subject of the tree, vibrant colours, interesting background, and a nice, simple shot to take before dinner. So yeah, on a gorgeous afternoon. There we go, and that's that. Later that afternoon we went for a hike to Laguna Torre, which is a glacial lagoon that sits right at the bottom of Serra Torre, those needle-like spires that we've been in awe of for the entire hike along the trail. Now this wasn't going to be much of a photography shoot, more of, a, more of an exploration because this location is ideally suited for sunrise and not sunset because of the direction that the sun goes down and the fact that the sun's going to rise from the east and cast beautiful morning light on those spires and that's what we want. Although despite this, I did get one shot but it was more of a test shot and really this was just a taster for what I hoped would happen the next morning. So this is now sunrise the next day and I'm heading down to the lake but I have to say it's not looking good, there are lots of low clouds hanging around and it looks to me like the peak is going to be shrouded which is such a great shame but on the plus side it's calm, it's relatively warm and there is a chance that the low clouds could lift for that one second, that one opportunity to grab a photograph. So that's what we're hoping for, but it's still early, it's still dawn, and we'll have to wait and see what happens, and actually see what it looks like when we arrive at Laguna Torre. As the ambient light started to increase and the cool blue tones of dusk faded, it was clear that we were out of luck. Any hopes of morning light hitting the imposing towers of Serra Torre as it reflected in the perfect still waters below were dashed. 
The winds continued to increase and the low-level cloud enveloped the peaks above. Unfortunately, I would have to return another time to get the conditions I had hoped for for so long. So good morning everybody, 10 days later from Laguna Torre on attempt number two. So 10 days later we've returned and as you can see, we have lovely reflections. That's, the, that's our group down there and we have clear skies, no wind. So hopefully we should get a beautiful reflection shot. And I would say that conditions this morning are uh, much more what I had hoped for on our last visit. But you know, that's photography. More often than not, you have to hit locations, several occasions. Ow! Oh. I'm causing a landslide, but it's okay. It's not that dangerous. So finally the light has happened and we have the morning glow just catching the peaks. It's beautiful. We still have those reflections. One of my concerns is that as the sun rises, the wind picks up, but that hasn't happened yet, fingers crossed. It's, oh, it's just gorgeous. I'm so glad that we came a second time. We decided not to camp and instead we left at three, th well, 4 a.m. and hiked in the dark. And it's always worth it. Even if we got bad conditions, it still would have been worth it, but look, of the reward. We never got the joy of camping, but we certainly have the joy of <laughs> beautiful reflections and conditions this morning. Second time lucky and just, yeah, perfect. So you often hear the term fleeting light and uh, well that is exactly what has happened here this morning as you can see now the glow that was on the peaks no more than two minutes ago has gone completely it was only on the peaks for about two to three minutes and then it's obviously being blocked by those high level clouds over to the east um, but yeah pretty happy i got a shot i'm pretty sure everybody got a shot when the light was at its best but it just goes to show how fast things can change and how quickly things can deteriorate i mean this is still a beautiful scene but it's nothing without that first glow from the morning sun. So maybe it'll come back, but at the moment it's looking like, you know, a two and a half hour hike, 4 a.m. start for a two minute photo shoot. But that is landscape photography in a nutshell. So I'm very happy with how this video has turned out in the end. We've had fantastic hiking and camping. Unfortunately, we didn't get the weather on the first trip. It deteriorated, but second time lucky. And what I love about this kind of hike and this location is the fact that in this video, I've managed to come away with some fantastic woodland images as well as epic mountain reflection images. And that, doesn't always happen usually it's one or the other and that's the beauty of hiking you know it takes you through various different landscapes and yeah I'm really really happy with how this has turned out so I'm gonna end it here thank you so much for watching I'd also like to thank Squarespace for sponsoring this content if you do not know who Squarespace are well they're an all-in-one platform where you go onto their website and you build your website so if you are no good at coding PHP, HTML and all that sort of stuff, just like me, uh, then go to squarespace.com forward slash Heaton and give it a free try. And if you like your free trial, and bear in mind, only if you like your free trial, then use the offer code Heaton for 10% off your per first purchase. So thank you so much for watching. And until next time, bye for now.